This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, all markets closed lower on what only could be described as a brutal week. All three indices were down for the past five weeks. U.S. stocks closed lower as investors came to grips with corporate warnings that paint an increasingly dire outlook for the health of the U.S. economy. As Wall Street legend Bob Farrell once told me, bad news tends to come on the installment plan. And this week was all about bad news. This past week, a higher than expected CPI report on Tuesday confirmed that inflation remains stubbornly high. Investors now fear that the Fed will have to keep raising interest rates aggressively, which could eventually tip the economy into recession. More bad news came from companies like Goldman Sachs, announcing its intention to cut jobs. Federal Express decided to tell investors, a week early, mind you, that its earnings were terrible and that it's closing offices to offset declining demand. And General Electric said supply chain problems were weighing on their profits. So does bad news actually come on the installment plan? Well, truth be told, we literally have millions of pieces of news, both good and bad, daily. When the market goes down, the talking heads reach into that pile that justifies the negative. And when the market goes up, it simply takes from the pile that justifies the positive. As I always say, it's the market that makes the news, not the other way around. Here's another truth. No one, and I mean absolutely no one, can predict with certainty what the markets are going to do in the short term. Never have and never will. What we do know is investor sentiment is very negative right now. Seems like everyone that wants to be out of the market is already out, and every professional investor who wants to be tactical is short. Historically, this has been a great time to invest since we're usually closer to a bottom than a top. Investing is the only area in our lives where we celebrate higher prices and bemoan lower ones. Think about it. Whether you're shopping for clothes, for groceries, a house, or a new car, the lower the price for the things you want, the more you're inclined to buy them. But not so with investing. When values are down, as they are this year, some investors actually panic and sell at lower prices, thinking we'll get back in when things get better. But of course, that never happens since markets are forward looking and prices are always higher before the news gets better. You don't get good prices with good news. We should treat lower prices on our investments like everything else. When it comes to investing, when you pay a higher price, it generally leads to a lower future return. But the opposite is true of lower prices. They lead to higher future expected returns. Simply put, the less you pay, the more you'll get. I guess the only question you need to ask yourself today is what do you prefer, more or less? Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.